Can you say mm, no. microphone? Breathe, this will be, this will be <laughs> In 2017, um, when my youngest son was four months old, I opened my own home based childcare program. Brianne Moline has a degree and a passion in child care, but starting an at home center wasn't easy. In this field, it's extremely hard to find property owners that want to rent to you. Once she found a spot in 2019, the challenges didn't stop. You have your, you know, your own family and this is shared space. And so, you know, there's some resentment from your family. It definitely was a factor in my relationship ending with my husband. But childcare isn't any easier at a large center like Fort Courage Child Care in Missoula, which has a capacity of 106 kids. But honestly, for myself and many programs, we can't go to capacity because of staffing. Mm. We just can't get the staff. All child care locations have the same struggle to recruit and retain staff. I'm not sure what to do in order to get people into the field. Really, a lot of times, realistically, is just finding people that love it and don't necessarily need to make that income. It's one of the lowest paid jobs in the state, if not want the lowest paid job. And burnout in this profession is high. I mean, a day in the life of a provider would probably shock a lot of people of just how much work it is. This is a very undervalued and underpaid field. Facility directors are constantly balancing paying staff adequately while not raising parent rates. And we can't provide our staff more unless we charge the parents more. And it's getting to a point that if we continue to raise our rates or anyone else in town, people aren't going to be able to afford care. It, it's hard to, to raise your rates when you know that families are struggling too. But more than high prices, parents can't find care. Like Katherine Wickman and her husband, Daniel Fleming, who feel it's very important for their daughter to be in child care. You know, I think we feel that's important for her to like, to spend time with other kids and yeah. get out of our house. But over the past 10 months, year and a half old Rosie has been through four different daycares. And so we'll get her in something and then, you know, they close or something doesn't work out and then she's back at home with us. And now she's 18 months old and basically never consistently been in childcare. Forcing her mother to work from home full time while taking care of her. It was a lot. I felt like I wasn't being a great mom, but I also wasn't being a great employee. And little availability means some families have to settle. With this lack of care and it being so like basically you take what you can get, is you end up not really being able to find care that meets all your needs and parameters or preferences. These Missoulians are happy to see changes take place for local child care, but the fight for a solution doesn't end here. The harsh reality is that there just has to be a lot more in terms of help and funding for programs, and I don't know where that comes from. I mean, that's definitely a higher level question through the state and the federal government, but it's definitely a crisis in Missoula and it's not going to change unless we get more help. An effective change will keep those who are passionate despite the struggles in the field. I love working with children. It is my passion. You know, it's our job to defend them and raise them and nurture them so that they can be authentically themselves. In Missoula, Claire Peterson, MTN News.